So another day, another set of Xiaomi products. Hey guys, what's up? You're watching iGAN. Today we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at the new Xiaomi Redmi 5, not to be confused for the Redmi 5 Plus or the Redmi Note or the Redmi Note Pro. Let's quickly get started. Now, Xiaomi has launched another set of smartphones in the market. It's called the Xiaomi Redmi 5, essentially aimed at a target audience, but they already have the Y1 series and they already have some other products that are already available for similar price brackets. So the variant we have is a 3GB plus 32GB storage variant, but the phone is available in three variants. The 2GB RAM variant, which is for 7,999, the 3GB RAM variant, which is the one that we have, which is for 8,900, and 99 and there is a 4 gigabyte ram variant which is for 10999 storage wise 16 gigabyte 32 gigabyte and 64 gigabyte respectively so the box is very similar to what we've seen with redmi devices in the past so you get a red box for their redmi devices some details and specifications on the back but let's quickly cut through it and once you do figure out how to pull open this box once you do do that you will see another box inside which contains a back silicon cover which is great because it's not really easy to find cases for the various numbers of xiaomi products that come out almost immediately so that's good that the company is including a cover inside the box there is also a protective film on the front as well as the back i'm going to get rid of both of those go further in also inside the box are a few documentation booklets so you get your warranty information and uh, some basic information about the device. And then if you go further in, you do get a micro USB charging cable, a USB wall charger, and also a SIM ejector tool. So let's quickly do a one over with the device. So over at the front, you will see a five megapixel camera, which is next to the earpiece. The camera can capture 1080p video as well. Just below that is the display. The display is a 5.7 inch IPS LCD display with a resolution of 1440 by 720 pixels. Again, at 720 pixels, I'm not too sure if this is a product that will be appealing to audiences, but it does have an 18 to 9 aspect ratio and a 282 pixel per inch pixel density. It is protected by a Gorilla Glass, unspecified, but I'm assuming it's Gorilla Glass 3. And if you come below that, you will not see anything on the bottom edge. The Android buttons are on screen. So on the bottom edge of the phone, you will see the micro USB charging port. You will also see it flanked on either side by two grills. One is a speakerphone and one is a microphone. On the right is the power button, which is just below the volume buttons. And on the top of the device, you will see the 3.5 mm headphone jack, an infrared blaster, and also a secondary noise cancellation microphone. On the left is where your hybrid SIM tray is. So you can either pop in two SIM cards or one SIM card and one micro SD card. And on the back of the device, you will see the main camera. This is a 12 megapixel camera with an f2.2 aperture and a 1.25 micron pixel size, still continuing to be a 1080p camera. Below that, you will see the LED flash and the fingerprint sensor, which seems to be mighty impressive and snappy to begin with. Now at the bottom, you will see some Xiaomi branding and uh, some legal information. And that is basically what the device looks like. Quite nice to hold in the hand. It's rounded off on the edges and uh, the aluminum unibody makes it look premium, a lot more premium than it actually is. And uh, once you do set up the initial setup and power on your device, you'll see that it's running MIUI 9, but it's still on Android 7, which again is a pity because we are almost close to the official announcement of Android 9 and uh, this device is being launched with Android 7. Xiaomi could have pushed this out with Android 8 since they're already pushing a few devices out with Android 8, but for now it's on Android 7 Nougat. From the home screen, you do get the dashboard towards the left. You do have your standard set of Xiaomi apps and tools uh, preloaded. You also have features like dual apps or cloning of apps so that you can have two instances of WhatsApp running on this device. So all of those features, typical Xiaomi features are available on this device. If we talk about specifications, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 450 is the processor chosen for these phones, which is an octa-core processor at 1.8 gigahertz. You also get the Adreno 506 GPU. And like I mentioned, two gigabyte, three gigabyte or four gigabyte RAM options along with 16 gigabyte, 32 gigabyte, or 64 gigabyte of onboard storage. There is a 3,300 milliamp hour battery, and Xiaomi claims that it'll last you a good full day without requiring a recharge. 
Again, we're going to be testing this out in depth for those who are interested. The phone weighs in at 157 grams and is 7.7 millimeters in terms of thickness. So it's quite a nice weight and size for the phone. It's not too wide as well, so it'll fit in most hands. It's a convenient sized phone. All in all, it seems to be a good entrant. If we turn on the camera app, you will see that you'll get all the Xiaomi features. So you have your panorama mode, a little bit of a pro mode as well, but not a full spectrum of things that you would see from a higher end flagship device. The front facing camera also seems nice. It also has a beauty mode with a smart and a pro beauty mode. And uh, you also get some filters on the front as well as the main camera. We'll be testing this out in depth and letting you know how this phone survives, if at all, in the price bracket that it's been launched at. I see a lot of people gunning for the 2GB RAM variant, which would be the most popular one because of it being the cheapest. But ideally, the 8999 variant, which is the one that we have, should be a better option with 3GB of RAM and 32GB of storage. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already a part of Team Aigyan. Until I see you next time, guys, this is me, Bharat. Thank you for watching.